it was very evident what was happening because people were standing here in the streets being sold. San Diego City Attorney Mara Elliott filing a lawsuit that forces the Main Street Motel to clean up what's happening here. They'll have to implement 36 compliance measures to stay in business. To my right, there's a big apartment complex. There are homes behind us with families and it was not the type of area that somebody would want to live in. CBS 8 has been covering this one for years. Women in broad daylight selling themselves for sex. Always a parade of cars with interested buyers. It's obvious that the rooms are being used for prostitution. You know, the, the short term rentals, the cash payments, the clientele. That's when stopped by police, many of the women had Main Street Motel room keys. The police department responded to 229 calls here since 2019. That include loitering, fights, drugs, and sex trafficking. Not uncommon to find teenagers out here. It's very sad. Eight minors, including one 13-year-old who had been forced into sex work, were rescued from what's been described as a very active operation. 48 people were arrested following a sex trafficking sting in just the past three months. Although it's a sad story, it is a happy ending. We were able to rescue them, get them the resources they needed, and return them back to their family and get them out of this life. The motel in Barrio Logan is near Naval Base San Diego and is now under renovation. The owner initially saying he had no control over the guests, but after eight months of back and forth with the city attorney, has agreed to change management and pay fines to cover the city's investigation. If they cooperate, they have a lower fine. If they don't cooperate, there's a higher fine. Um, so we will be monitoring the situation to make sure that they stay true to, the, to, to their word. Rooms also won't be rented by the hour. Credit cards will be needed instead of cash. Security guards and signs that say cameras are rolling. The police department will have 24-hour access to that footage. Those um, guardrails in place, we are hoping that we're going to bring sanctity back to the community.